Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lefty from 643 Productions welcoming you to another gameplay commentary. And this is something, I, I for those of you that follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash lefty643 or just at lefty643, uh, you can find a link in the description to my Twitter account. I, I talked with Hutch. This is something I, t I had a talk with Hutch about a few days ago before my computer problems. And I had I was it was like forced radio silence. It was awful. But uh, Hutch got on Twitter, and I'll read the specific tweet here in, uh, in, a, in a few moments. And we had a discussion about this, and I just feel it's something that I should bring to you guys, too. So maybe you can have like a little bit of a better understanding of how this YouTube game, how this YouTube business, industry, whatever you want to call it, how it works. And, and I, I guess you could classify this as a response video, yes. But just know that I am trying not to classify it as that because I hate the negative connotation that is associated with video responses. However, fitting that connotate that negative connotation, that negative aspect may be with some people in YouTube that just kind of do response videos for a living without actually knowing anything about anything, and then they just have low cut shirts and big titties, and they're like, "Hey, look at my hoo ha's." <laughs> uh, but anyway. Hutch said, and this is a specific tweet, he said, quote, and you can follow him at uh, Z-Zero, so z uh, oh my god, it's Hutch, or Z-O-M-G, it's Hutch, and uh, instead of an O, it's a zero, so, so oh my god, it's Hutch. He said, quote, done run out of sympathy for YouTubers that complain about sub boxes. If your numbers are dropping, it's a reflection of the content, end quote. Now, I, I will explain it to you guys as I tried to explain it to Hutch, and it's it's not a a mutually exclusive thing. Losing views, and uh, when we talk about views, we're talking about you know kind of the average amount of views you can expect on any given video, and uh, overall viewership in terms of views on a month and a six month period, whatever. When when we say views, that's what we're talking about. We say sub boxes again, just to let you in on some of the lingo if you don't know it already. Sub boxes when you hear YouTubers talk about that or whether they're lamenting them or praising them, uh, they mean the the feed that you see on the YouTube homepage when you go to YouTube.com and you and you log in. You see a feed of either the activity or just the uploads of all the people that you are subscribed to on YouTube. And from time to time, when that breaks, when those sub boxes break, whether it be for a week, a day, a month, even it's been there. Are, there have been a few month and a half stretches that I've been around for. Uh, the videos that are published or uploaded by your YouTube by YouTubers sometimes sometimes not make it to that homepage feed. Sometimes they are published to that feed uh, late. Sometimes videos are an hour, two, three hours late, and by that time they're already off the front homepage. Uh, sometimes they're not published at all, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what we're talking about. And it is not mutually exclusive that a reduction in views either has to be either a drop in subjective entertainment value or a break in subscription boxes. It doesn't have to be one or the other. It can be both. It can be one or the other. And I, I had to explain to Hutch, or I tried to explain to him, that just because uh, people are seeing a drop in views doesn't, and, and just because the sub, sub boxes break doesn't mean that views are going to stay the same. It doesn't mean that people are just going to find different avenues to find your videos. When sub boxes break, views do go down. And that is something that is generally accepted not only in the YouTube industry, but in the marketing and advertising industry as a whole. And I'll get into that in a bit. But again, there there is a difference between, or not really a difference, but there are some people, and I, and I will admit there's some people that rely too often on the, oh, it's the broken sub boxes to explain away their drop in views. Some people do. It's, and it's just human nature because you don't want to admit that you are becoming worse or bad or we're never good or anything like that. You just don't want to. I don't want to. I never will. Screw you. I'm good. I'm the best, damn it. And the people just don't want to do that. However, to come to unilaterally rebuke the notion of sub boxes having an impact on views is also is is pretty much just as faulty a logic as those that say it's always the sub boxes and not my content and that's what i wanted to explain to hutch that it it can be either or it it's 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 sometimes it's flailing content and yes some people do rely too heavily on the on the issue of sub boxes to explain that away but other times the sub subscription boxes do break they just do and if you if you know how to look at the numbers uh, of the views or how to look at the viewership breakdowns you can see that and 
Hutch, Hutch's response was the, uh, a lot of people uh, tend to say this, and probably some people have already typed it into the comment section of this video before they watch the whole damn thing. And they say that, well, even if subscription boxes break, if you make truly entertaining and engaging content, et cetera, et cetera, people are going to find it. And that I, I, I wanted to explain to Hutch. I don't know if he exactly got it. Again, Twitter is, is kind of a poor medium to explain those kinds of things, uh, especially without you know, sounding like a complete jackass because you, you have to kind of skip on, on the nuance of being like, no, 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 we're talking about things rationally and, and intellectually. I'm not trying to be a dick and make you sound like an idiot. Although you know, I do that to some people anyway, but not Hutch. I truly do respect Hutch for his intellectual curiosity. It's awesome that there's somebody like that in this community. But... I have to explain, that's, that's kind of ignorant and uh, completely flies in the face of what advertising and marketing has been teaching and seeing in, uh, in other business, uh, business industries and other, other genres since time immemorial. Uh, Colorado, there's been a few studies how Colorado, in an effort to, to reduce their deficit and watch their budget, cut their $12 million tourist, uh, or tourism advertising budget. They said, hey, everybody knows Colorado. It's a great place to, to go tourist and go be a tourist and look at the mountains, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Everybody knows that, so we don't need to advertise $12 million a year. We don't need that. That's superfluous. And so they cut the advertising budget down to zero. Two years later, they found out that because they did that, they missed out on $1.4 billion of tourism revenue because people actually do, needed, do need to be reminded that, hey, Colorado is a pretty cool place to go to be a tourist. That's just the way it is. Coca-Cola did a similar, had a similar run-in with uh, the theories and uh, social, I guess, social engineering theories regarding advertising and marketing. When they were in their in the throes of their battle with uh, Pepsi-Cola, they said, "Well, in order to increase our profit margins, we can reduce our advertising budget because pretty much everybody knows what Coca-Cola is now." Everybody knows. Everybody knows what Coke is. We're the antithesis to Pepsi. Everybody, everybody knows. We don't need to advertise as much. And we're going to keep our board happy because our profit margins are going to skyrocket. And oh, my God. Oh, my God. And then a, a few months, you know, 6, 12, 24 months later, they're like, oh, Pepsi's clobbering us in sales, just absolutely murdering us at the storefronts. Why is that? Well, it's because the advertising breaks. Or it's because they have reduced their advertising uh, budget. They have thus redu reduced their uh, their footprint on uh, on the culture of of their current market or their their target market, and they're they're just not selling as well because of that. And it's the same exact thing in YouTube. This homepage subscription boxes represent a hugely significant portion uh, or percentage of total views for any most YouTubers. I would say ninety nine point nine percent of YouTubers. And what's more, any given uh, YouTube YouTuber gets a, a huge percentage of their views from subscription boxes, you, regardless of how many subscribers you have. Again, the smaller channels, they get shoutouts from bigger channels. That can fluctuate and look a little weird. But for the most part, a lot of people get their views from subscription boxes, and it is a form of advertising. It's eh, democratic-ish in nature, more so now that it just depends on how many, you know, you, when you upload your video, and it's supposed to appear in the uh, homepage subscription feed, and then people see on it. It's like you're, you're advertising your channel saying, hey, look at me. See, I'm better than all these other videos that are above and below me. Come, come, click on this. Click on this. Watch me. Watch me. And that is the way. That is the the form of advertising that most 99.9% .9 of YouTubers have is the is the built-in infrastructure of YouTube and their homepage subscription uh, boxes. And so. When that breaks, it's like in the business, in other business realms, it's like a, a business completely reducing their advertising budget to zero. And so when homepage uh, subscription boxes break, it is, it is going to happen. It's just it's kind of something that, that does happen. Your views are going to fall off. That's just the way it is. And, you know, it, it can, can be explained by uh, a fall off in content and a fall off in entertainment value, but it can also just as easily be explained by broken subscription boxes because that is the only form of advertising that YouTubers really have access to, and it's gone. And that's what happens. That's what we see happen in every other aspect of advertising and marketing. But again, if you want a, if you want a more in-depth uh, description of, of why that is, you'll have to ask somebody that actually uh, knows a good bit about what they're talking about. So that's, that is my response to, uh, to Hutch uh, decrying those that, uh, that use the shield of subscription boxes to describe or explain away their drop-off in viewership. And just to close it up, I want to make this clear. YouTube subscription boxes do break. We know they do. And we also know that because of just the governing theories and whatever of advertising and marketing, that when they do, views are going to drop off. However, 
However, it is also true, I have no idea how exactly how true it is in terms of quantity, but it is also true that there are people that use the uh, explanation of subscription boxes to explain away a drop-off in views that is actually a result of drop-off in content. It's not mutually mutually exclusive. There are people that have experienced drop-off in views because they're just not entertaining anymore or anything, something like that, but there are also a lot a lot of people that experience a drop-off in views because the only advertising system YouTube has in in grained in its infrastructure is the YouTube homepage sub boxes and that breaks actually quite frequently more so than a, than a lot of people might notice. So, let Hutch know Tell him again. It, great intellectual discourse with Hutch. Uh, it was an awesome, awesome discussion that I that I saw him have. Not only with me and other people, but other people in the in the community. So Hutch, uh, love you. But uh, I think uh, I think it's it's kind of just a I don't know. Some people may be just looking at the problem a little bit differently. So just because you make engaging content doesn't mean that people will seek it out when your advertising drops to virtually nil at least in terms of the YouTube homepage subscription boxes. But anyway, guys, that's my time. i got to get out of here. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to drop a like on this video. If you did enjoy, remember likes, favorites, comments, and shares via Facebook and Twitter. Do help me out. Thank you guys for joining. I hope you enjoyed. I'm out.